On everyone, so the Los Angeles Lakers have found their shooter in Dalton Connect, and it's a beautiful date. I mean, he has been just lights out, absolutely amazing. I don't expect him to continue to shoot 70% from three like he has the last few games. Um, the last three games, I believe he's been averaging 24 points on 69% from three-point range. Don't think that that's majorly sustainable, but he is shooting over 40% from three-point range on the season. That, I do believe, is sustainable for him. Um, he's going to have his good games, he's going to have his bad games. I mean, even the greatest shooters. I mean, Steph has had stretches where in games where he just can't find a bucket. Um, you know, Clay Thompson, uh, he's had his games, you know, his one of 11 games and stuff like that. So, it's part of the motion. It's part of it. And he's a rookie who still learning the ropes, still learning and trying to figure out how to, you know, properly position himself, particularly on the defensive side of things, right? Defensively, he has not been great. He actually has our worst defensive rating on the team as of right now at 120.4, um, which is 0.3 higher than Gabe Vincent, who is at 120.1. Um, but also worth noting, that's the individual stat. Team stats, Lakers are actually two points better uh, when Dalton Connect is on the floor. Um, they're around a 115 uh, and some change to uh, 117 and some change uh, when he is off the floor. So kind of interesting that within the team structure, he's actually doing a really good job, but kind of isolated on an island. He's had his struggles. He's a rookie, right? It's part of the process. He's got to learn. He's got to, you know, you see at times he's kind of out of position. He's gotten backdoored a few times, right? Like there's things where, you know, he, he needs to kind of get a, a better understanding and, and be able to, hey, I need to scan and see the floor, of course, but I also need to be keeping my defensive guy in my peripheral and just kind of, again, it'll learn. It's, it's part of the process of being a rookie. But given that Dalton Connect has been so good out the gate for the Lakers, right, you now have kind of your core to, if you can get the right pieces around them, all of a sudden be a real championship contender, right? I still don't believe that the Lakers are a true contender. Do they have a shot? Of course, especially if Dalton Connect goes on like a run like this in the playoffs, right? Like if he's shooting 70% from three in the playoffs, right? Which is not that crazy. I mean, we have seen guys have crazy playoff runs and stuff like that. You get something like that if Austin Reeves, who is known to kind of elevate come playoff time, if he can kind of be better because he's had his inconsistencies, right? The Lakers have the, again, kind of the core, and I do believe at bare minimum a puncher's chance at getting to the NBA Finals, right? You get the right matchups and stuff, winning the championship. You have LeBron James and Anthony Davis. You trust them that if you get there that they can pull it out. But it's not something like I would bet on. It's not something I'm like, yeah, the Lakers are, that's it. Like, they're top tier. However, I do think if you're Rob Palenka and you're kind of looking at the situation here, I think you have to go all in, right? Because Dalton Connect has basically given you that other guy, right? I think now you have even more incentive to really make that push. Now, I'm not saying it's just, just because Dalton Connect. Like, no, but it's, you know, you have LeBron and AD, obviously. And LeBron, you only have so many years left. So there's always this urgency to try to put the best roster available uh, every night, right? But then you add in, you know, uh, an Austin Reeves, who the Lakers are really high on, who, again, he's having his inconsistencies and struggles, but he's still a good player, right? I don't think he's your third best player, which is the problem. I think him as like your fourth best player, now you're talking, now you're cooking, and everyone kind of drops down the pecking order. Now Dalton Connect could be your fifth best player, so on and so forth, right? So, but you have essentially Austin Reeves, uh, Dalton Connect now, LeBron James and Anthony Davis, where prior it was like LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and uh, Austin Reeves, and then it's like, okay, well, D'Lo, he's a redundancy, so you're probably looking to trade him, right? Like, you need two, three, four, five players, where now if Dalton Connect can continue to be that consistent piece for the Lakers via starting or off the bench, which I do think he should continue to start. I just think his shooting and floor spacing in the starting lineup has been warranted. I think if you can get some, you know, like a legit 3 and D guy, I think that could go a long way to kind of pair alongside Dalton Connect, um, you know, give you some athleticism out there as well. Um, but point is that it just gives you another piece. So now you're like, okay, if we can turn D'Lo, Gabe Vincent, Rui Hachimura, and these other guys into kind of more positions of need, and Dalton Connect can kind of continue to be what we need him to be, it's like, okay, well, now that's one less need, 
right? Where it's like, hey, we really need somebody that can light it up, right? Like, you know, you've heard talks about a, a Bogdan Bogdanovich, even like a Boyan Bogdanovich, right? Like these, these guys that can give you volume three-point shooting and knockdown at an efficient clip. Well, you already have Dalton Connect, so now you don't need that. Right now you have a guy, I mean, obviously it'd be ideal to have another guy like that, right? Particularly one that's better defensively, but at least that's one, like you don't have the urgency now to go and have to go get that guy. Now it's like, okay, we definitely need a center, which the Lakers have been incredibly active in trying to find a center. They're being patient in that department, but it's like, okay, we need a center and we need some type of three and D athleticism out on the wing whether it's at the guard position or it's at the three, right? And with Dalton Connect, he gives you the athleticism. He gives you the shooting. You're hoping that he kind of figures some stuff out defensively and get there and then get some bench depth, ideally, if you could get another piece or two uh, to give you off the bench, right? Still, I like the idea of like a Walker Kessler and a Colin Sexton, right? You have a, two guys, guy that give you an athletic guard uh, that can come off the bench, or he can start and then give you that that backup center and like a walk Kessler, like something like that would be ideal. Um, you have a couple options with uh, the Brooklyn Nets, right? Like, can you get a uh, Dorian Finney-Smith, uh, Dennis Schroeder, Cam Johnson, and like a Dayron Sharp, right? And now you have essentially your your backup center in Dayron Sharp. You got your point of attack guard and Dennis Schroeder. You got your uh, three and D uh, guy in Dorian Finney Smith, and then you got another three and D guy in like a Cam Johnson. Give up both first. Give up a pick swap. Give whatever you need to do. And now you're adding those four core guys to your other four guys. There's your eight man rotation. You keep a Jared Vanderbilt, right? Like you still probably have Christian Wood. Now, now at that point, you have the the versatility across the board. You have multiple guys now that can come in and play that role. You have multiple guys that can be that three point sh- shooter as well as defend. And then you got that bucket getter, that that high volume three point shooter in a Dalton Connect. I just think that's a much more well rounded roster. That or you go get just that 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 game changing level guy, like I've talked about, like with like a Zach Levine, give you some athleticism, give you that scoring. Now everyone kind of drops a peg, right? So now Austin Reeves again isn't your third best guy; he's your fourth best guy. Dalton Connect is not your fourth best guy; he's your fifth best guy, right? Like and so on and so forth. You know, can you get an IO and then go trade for a, a Nick Richards or a you know Dayron Sharp? or a Walker Kessler, ideally. Again, you're, it, I think we're, you. if you're the Lakers and you're Rob Palenka, one, you need to remain patient, right? The fact that the Lakers are continuing to win is huge because now you're not at a point of desperation. You're at a point of, we would like this, right? Like, Lakers winning and looking good in the emergence of Dalton Connect and so on and so forth. If you're the Lakers, now you can look at you know, these, these trades and go, Hey, we would like to have this, not, we need to have this. And you can also stomach getting off of some of the guys, right? You know, like a Rui Hachimura, you know, a D'Angelo Russell, like guys like that, right? Where it's like, okay, well, are you making lateral moves? Are you making upgrade? Well, it's like, okay, well, you have Austin Reeves, so d kind of becomes a redundancy, especially with the style of offense and the way that we're operating. Rui Hachimura, love Rui. He's not a three, he's a four, Right, Dalton Connect just slots better in at that three. Plus, if you can get a three and D Wayne, you can move Connect to the two and then have that. You know, say you do get a Cam Johnson, right? Well, you can have Cam Johnson be the three and then just move Connect to the two, and now he's a bigger two, right? Where he's like average size for a three, but now he's bigger for a two. You could have something like a Reeves Connect, uh, you know, Cam Johnson, LeBron James, and Anthony Davis, and then have pieces off the bench that can kind of orchestrate. If you're Rob Palinka. Again, you want to remain patient, but I do think that there is, because of Connect and because of how this team has looked, I think there is that, and the coaching staff, J.J. Redick, right? You know, Scott Brooks, Nate McMillan, like these guys have really shown that like, okay, this is different, right? I don't think that there is that like sense of like, uh, how like we're really, we may be really far, right? Like I think you get two Two just high-end pieces, like, you know, high-end role guy. I'm not talking about superstars or anything. Just get, like like I said, like a Cam Johnson and, you know, like a, a Walker Kessler or something like that, right? I think that that could be the difference between you being in that conversation, right? Because you have a guy in a Dalton Connect who has really emerged and is getting more, he's only going to get more and more comfortable, right? 
Austin Reeves, we know what he can do, right? Even though he's having his inconsistencies, right? If you can, if Cam Johnson kind of be the guy that you need him to be, you're not as worried about Austin Reeves as much. Now, when Austin Reeves is great, you're winning all those games. When he's bad, you still have a chance here, right? Like, I just think that the Lakers are in a, a, an excellent position. Excellent position. Because you have tradable ass players, assets, and players, right? Because D'Lo, his expiring contract, is going to be very valuable, and the fact that he's willing to come off the bench is going to cause teams to maybe be a little more interested. Him as a starter, almost most teams don't need a starting point guard, right? But hey, D'Lo with his shooting and playmaking off the bench, that could be very useful, right? So now you might actually see teams be more inclined to do that. Also, you got guys like Rui, Gabe Vincent. I know Gabe Vincent's been terrible, but he only has one more year on his deal at $11 million. If you're a team like the Nets, would you rather pay $27 million, $23 million a year? Would you rather pay $11 million a year, right? Like, those are the differences. That's where the value's at. And then you have your assets, and the Lakers have been good in winning, right? And if they continue to win, takes pressure off of the Lakers to to now have to, like, rush for a trade. And now you can just approach those conversations very differently. Lakers are in a very good spot. And I do think part of it is because of Dalton Connect's emergence. It really does make you go, okay, that's one less piece we need. Where before it was like, okay, it's really D'Lo, Reeves, and LeBron. Right, those are the three guys that are kind of your your untouchables. I don't think anyone's untouchable, but you know, as close as to it, right? Like those are the three guys you're not training LeBron and AD unless you're getting like a younger superstar. And Austin Reeves, they don't want to trade unless it's for like a, a proven all star level talent, which okay, fine. But even though I think I like I was in the camp of like you should have traded him for DeJounte Murray, but oh again, okay, fine. And then it's like, okay, well, who's next? Right? Is Rui Hachimura really untouched? Probably not. Is D'Lo? Definitely not. Right? Like, is Gabe? No. Right? Like, you kind of go down the list and it's like, okay, well, who else is in that category? You don't have anybody. And then here comes Dalton Connect. And it's like, okay, so now we got four. Now we got the four, you know, your four core guys that you're putting everything else around. Right? It's a good foundation. And you got the assets and you got the players. Make it happen. But... Anyway, as always, this is a discussion, and I pass a question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? How do you feel? What are your thoughts? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Kind of mixed in the middle. Um, however you feel, whatever your thoughts are, I'd love to hear it. So let me know down in the comments below. That being said, if you haven't liked this video, hit that like button. Helps me not. So we enjoy these types of videos, and I truly appreciate it. Not subscribe channel. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell notifications. Appreciate y'all. See you in the next one. Thank you.